Hey guys, Mike back with another episode of Scintillating Scents. I'm super excited to bring you this fragrance for review today. I was sent this fragrance for review, so I just wanna give you that in full disclosure, but that won't change my honesty and my opinion what I bring to you today. What I have for you today is fresh off the presses. It's a new release and the newest release from the fragrance house, Juliet Has a Gun, and it is none other than Moscow Mule. So as you can see from the presentation, it's really cool, guys. It has the copper top and the copper lettering along with a nice frosted white. It really kind of embodies the presentation of what the drink, the Moscow Mule, is, if, if any of you um, have ever ordered one. So let's get to what the juice is inside of here. The top notes are essence of ginger, lime, and bergamot. In the heart, we have apple, amber, sandalwood, and iso E super. Ice Wee Super, many of you may know from the Molecule line. The bottom notes we have Ambroxan, Ambrolatide, Ambretolide, I may be pronouncing that incorrectly, so I apologize, and Norlimbanol. Those last two, I'm not really sure on, to be honest, but I'm gonna give this a spritz and give you my impressions of the opening. Let that air out a little bit. So the opening, you really get the, the zestiness of the ginger, kind of a spicy, zesty ginger. You get the lime and the bergamot as well. It gives it a really citrusy effect. And also I get not an alcohol as in an alcohol that would normally be in a fragrance, but almost like a, a vodka or a really rich, nice alcohol scent at the opening of this. And a lot of just that citrus, the ginger, really embodies the, the zestiness of the drink, the Moscow Mule. But what I really love about this fragrance is the Iso E Super and the Ambroxan as well. This, after the citrus dies down on here, the Ambroxan and the Iso E Super kind of come out to play later. They kind of lurk softly in the background, if you will, until um, the fragrance really dries down and, and warms up on your body. And I will be honest, guys, this fragrance is very fresh, but it's not a projection monster. It does not project. It's more of a skin scent um, and it's more light, but it's super fresh, super zesty, and then it dries down into this nice, warm, um, woody, citrusy vibe that I love. So if you're looking for a fragrance that's really gonna project, really be a compliment getter, I wouldn't say that this fragrance is that. However, I did wear this today as my scent of the day to the office, and after a couple hours, I would say, into the day, the lady who was sitting next to me kind of gave a, a, a inquisitive look my way and said, are you wearing something new today? And I said, I absolutely am. It's actually from a new, frag a new fragrance, a new release um, that I was trying to, to try out today for my scent of the day. And she, um, she said, it's really, um, what did she say, hypnotic. There's something kind of that, that is, lays under, under the skin. It, it kind of flies under the radar and you kind of get that iso -E super every once in a while, a, a little waft of it as it projects off the skin. So it's not something that's gonna project for miles, but when you're coming in close contact with somebody as you're walking by, they get this nice waft of the iso -E super, the Ambroxan, and I believe probably those other um, synthetics that are in here as well. It just makes for a really well-balanced, nice fragrance. I absolutely love this one, guys. I think it is perfect for the summer. It is a completely nice, well-blended and well-rounded fragrance. Um, and I think it's a, a five out of five in my books. It, I would recommend this all day long as a go-to for the summer. Um, it's just really warm, really nice, really zesty. Just got everything you could possibly want, I think, in a summertime fragrance. So that's what I have for you today, guys. I hope you get out, get your nose on this one, and really, really um, just give it a try. And if you like my video here, please give a big thumbs up, subscribe below, give me some comments, let me know how I'm doing, um, and I hope to bring you some new content soon.